Uh, fire, fire, fire. What? What am I, what am I doing here? Huh? Uh, well, it's me, Banana Slime. Uh, I don't know where I am. Oh, lava, lava, lava. Where am I? I don't remember what was going on. Huh? Looks like some kind of crash site. Oh, there's a map. Whoa. That, that looks brutal. Uh, what happened here? Uh, it's like I'm in the middle of some kind of crash site. There's me. It's like some kind of crater or another thing. And I have no clue what that is. Whoa, there's lava and fire. What's going on here? There's a computer. Let's see if there's anything I can do with it. Do do dee dee do dee do dee 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 dee. Hello, banana slime. Whoa, what are you? I am your computer. Okay. Uh, what's going on? The ship crashed. What ship? You are flying through space in a spaceship. What? I was flying on a space in a spaceship. I guess that would make sense. The cockpit looks. This looks kind of like the cockpit of a plane a bit, but I guess it could make sense. Okay, why was I in a spaceship? You were flying to your destination. My destination? What was the destination? The destination. That's not very helpful. Come on, tell me. I guess it's not working right now. Let's look in the chest. Hmm. Uh, there seems to be maps. Those look like the same maps from... There we saw on the wall. Ticket to the Noodle Planet. Oh my. If I'm on the Noodle Planet, doesn't that mean there should be Think Noodles? There's also a steak and a fire. Wow, fire extinguisher. But shouldn't there be Think Noodles? That doesn't look right. That's the map. Okay, those are maps, but the maps are supposed to look different. Uh, Think Noodles is built so much. Why does it all look blank? Computer, give me some help here. I, I am your computer. I am that one guy. You're that one guy. Why, why are you called that one guy? That's that's kind of a weird name. That is because you have a communicator on. I can always contact you, so I am always with you. And as they say, there's always that one guy. Oh, wow. I get it. But that's incredibly stupid. What's wrong with you? Uh, seems like saying I would do. So, what did I do? I have detected some redstone torches that form a line outside of the vicinity. You should go check it out. Uh, be warned. There are many creatures here willing to destroy you. Okay, that one guy. I think... I can do this. I'm gonna take this stuff with me. You never know when you're gonna need some water and some food. Uh, hmm. Well, just to get you guys orange tinted, tinted, it's interesting in the video. It's me, Banana Slime. And apparently, we have been trapped on some kind of planet. Well, this is pretty awkward. I have no clue what's going on. I guess we can say we're stranded. Well, let's see if we can find any signs of life. This is the noodle planet, so we should be able to find think noodles. That something seems off. We haven't... He was right about redstone torches. There's a whole line. Okay. I... There's, the chances of this ever spawning in the natural world is probably like one in a million. I'm not even sure if the code would allow such a thing. I know redstone, I'm pretty sure redstone torches can spawn naturally, like, uh, some stuff, maybe like, in the stronghold, I think. And, oh, I'm pretty sure in the nether fortress, right? It's an arrow. I'm gonna follow it. To chest. Hmm. Well, I don't know what this could be. It's got redstone torches. There seems to be something underneath it. 
I don't know. This doesn't seem safe. What could be okay? It is a block of iron. Seems safe enough. Just gonna be precautionate. Who up? Oh! What of all this stuff? Maybe Think Noodles cleaned up, like, a camp, like, leave no trace? Maybe. Uh, no, why would he ever leave the Noodle Planet? There's a book. Okay, this is getting really weird, guys. What could this book be? Mwah ha 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 Lo 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 lo. Okay, this seems like. This is odd. This seems like a bad guy. This moo ha 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 part. I think I'm gonna read it in a French accent. What do you think, guys? Not saying French people are evil, but it seem something about this book seems like it was written by an evil French person. So I'm just gonna read it. No offense to any French people if you're offended by French evil voices. Mwahaha! You are now trapped here on the noodle planet. You are stranded. Well, I knew that. I guess I got it right. I will give you different tasks every now and then, and you will go do them if you ever want to escape this planet. Mwahaha! Oh, this guy seems bad. Your overall task I have for you is to use the supplies on this planet to create a city. Oh, a city. That's not bad. I like city building. I've always wanted to build a huge city in Minecraft. I give you some starting supplies. You may ask, where is Think Noodles? Yeah, I do ask that. I have. I Think Noodles should be here, right? Where is he? Well, Lacrasse has, has sent you back in time to 10 BT before Think Noodles. 10 what? 10 years? 10 months? 10 days? 10 seconds? Okay... He didn't really specify, but I'm going to guess it's years. But that's bad, because I don't really know how the train was before Think Noodles built upon it. It is going to be hard. You must pave your roads with gravel because it looks cool. Your first major task is to build yourself a small house for yourself. Both the doors I provided for... Uh, use both doors I provided for you. I warn you, the first ten episodes may be on, it will be on easy mode. But then after that, the uh, difficulty goes to medium. I will check your progress and turn you to hard mode when you stop being a huge noob. Well, that's a jerky thing to say. Good luck. You are going to need it. P.S. P.S. what? P.S. Chang's? Pretty that's necessary that's a store. He's got a period. That's stupid. It's four out of four. There's nothing else. So, who is this P.S. guy? He could be anyone. But yeah, we've got supplies, we've got torches. Oh, if he wants us to build a city, I guess he wants us to have some villagers, some wood to build a basic house, a bunch of assorted saplings, like the basic supplies, and stone slabs. He said gravel. That's odd. Maybe he just, maybe he made a typo. Maybe he probably wants stone slabs, because I know gravel looks cool, but stone slabs are a lot cooler when you think about it. So I'm just going to guess that that was a mistake. So, it appears that we are now trapped on the Noodle Planet 10 years before Think Noodles ever came. We have our huge eh, wreckage of our spaceship in the background. What will we do? Will we survive? We must build a city for the, and do various tasks for this mysterious P.S., whoever he may be. I'm honestly pretty scared. I don't know what's going to happen. This could be the end of Banana Slime forever. Think we can do it? Let's get started. Now we only have a little while before night. I think we should start building a house. He did say build a house in the thingy. Now he wants us to use both the doors because I guess he wants us to be fancy. Oh damn. I can tell this could be quite bad. I'm not the best Minecrafter in the world, but I guess that's given that YouTubers typically aren't the best at the games and people laugh at how much they fail. Uh, so, I want to make it a nice fancy house. 
but we gotta conserve the wood. Uh, this guy must like me because he knows my favorite type of wood is acacia wood. So, gotta give him props for that, even though he's evil. And uh, maybe he was the one who crashed my space set. That jerk must have crashed my space set. Why, why would he cause me to crash my space set? Maybe he needs me. Maybe this city is very important to him. Well, I could have built him a city if he'd just asked nicely, right? Oh, knights are coming. Uh, so I'm not sure, guys. What do you think about the mysterious, this mysterious P.S.? Leave in the comments below who you think P.S. is. It's obviously an abbreviation, but who could it be? I'm running low on wood because I want to make my house a cool circle. I should have enough wood. Let's make it a little bigger by adding the planks here. Ow. Dang it, I jumped up high. It ah, caused me to lose some health. Okay, guys. This is where things are starting to get critical. I need to use you. Okay. Uh, I'm running low on wood. There's enough to build me a little shelter. Okay, this isn't gonna work. I don't have enough wood to finish this all right now, or enough time. Uh, I assume he wants us to use both these beds also, because he gave, it gave us two things. And well, I guess it's kind of nice of him. Sure, he trapped me on a planet, but he knows that, that I like a nice big bed. So, props to him. Yeah, I'm one of the, uh, so, I don't really have my priorities straight. I am giving, uh, these, uh, I'm giving props to, whoa, I went out of my house. I'm giving props to a guy who stranded me on an abandoned plant. That, uh, ooh, zombie. That won't be inhabited for ten years. I know over there there should be a village, but this seems, it seems that, the Minecraft, it, he might have, the world must have changed somehow, because we're in 1.8, so the train generation would have changed, and Think Noodles wouldn't have had, uh, made all that terrain yet. So I'm guessing we're pro uh, the terrain around the Noodle Planet hub will be different. It'll be special. It'll be very different from how we know it in Think Noodle's survival videos. And that's a bit scary. Brand new train, and no clue what's going to happen next. You guys excited for this? I think this is going to be a series, because building a city is going to take forever. So, I, don't, eh. I think right in this area... I'm going to build myself a mine. Eventually, I'll do some expanding. Uh, now I was, I was thinking of building it right here, like have a little door right here, and it goes down, and just walk down here. But it's really close to the house. If we ever decide to expand, it's gonna be right in the center of our house. This is weird. If all this new terrain generating, I'm having a ton of lag. It's weird. Didn't have lag uh, in my other worlds when I first generated them. Let's find a suitable place for the beginning part of our mine. I don't know, so let's just let's just start a little quarry, cause we can't dig straight uh, uh, down in the sand because the sand will just fall on top of us. So. Don't, that's a big problem. So I think we should make like a quarry, like a big hole in the ground. We got ourselves some sand. Not super helpful at the moment. Uh, I think we should set up our house. Now, obviously, I remember in here, yes, I was right. He gave us some sand. I love acacia wood, so it gets to be the special plant of honor to get planted first. 
let's just dig it in. Oops, I was going to put it in the ground. Let's just put it in over here. Okay, that seems suitable. So we're going to need a little orchard to start this off. Uh, because without any wood, how, how can you Minecraft without wood? That's one of the fundamentals of Minecraft, wood. Hmm, I know a fundamental of Minecraft. Maybe I should ma do guides like that YouTuber OMG Chad. I like him. You should check out his videos. Just type in OMG Chad. Uh, yeah, he does. Uh, he plays some servers and minigames, but mostly he just... He's a Minecraft guide guy. He tells you like how to make portals and command codes and how particles work and stuff. And that's just a few examples of his like hundreds of videos. Uh, yeah. Uh, you should. Uh, and also, you should. What's that sound? It sounded like a breeze. I don't know what quite know what sound that is. That. That, like, seriously scared me to death. I was like, what? For a second, I thought it was an Enderman, because that's what I was like. It sound... That sounded a bit like a zombie. Okay, I think I'm just afraid of my own shadow and letting stuff get the better of me. But something feels wrong. I felt a chill go up my spine. I almost never feel chills go up my spine. Well, it's kind of a small chill. I, like, never really feel the chills go up my spine. I'm not sure if I'm feeling them, just I don't recognize them. Because I didn't know that that's what chills going up your spine feels like. But I, I don't know. That's definitely a problem. And also I could... I'll, I'll have to use the, this dirt to finish up the rest of my house. Uh, okay, let's put the crafting table there and the furnace there. So I think we've got a nice little hovel. I'm sorry guys for the lag. I have no clue. I've been... Now that I think about it, I think I partially remember scoping out part of the Noodle Planet in a travel magazine. It was like a virtual reality. It made you feel like you were actually on the Noodle Planet. Uh... And it wasn't this laggy. There must be some problems or something. The, uh, might be the train. The train's pretty cool here. Maybe, maybe in, because Think Noodles does his videos on a server. It he put it on a server. Maybe the train's just too amazing for one computer to handle. And Think Noodles awesomeness is just overloads my computer. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's pretty bad. I don't even have a complete house. Oh, I have three wood. I can start working on the top parts of my house. Uh, I want to put this roof a little elevated because well, I, I have style, I like, think noodles. Yeah, so... It is definitely going to be a work on progress. I'm going to have to collect wooden stuff between episodes because I assume there's going to be a series because I can't really escape here, so I guess I might as well make videos while I'm stuck on this planet. No, it's not a bad planet. It's the Noodle Planet. Definitely going to have to clean up so I don't disrupt Think Noodles when he gets here. Ten years. I bet there'll be a way around that. Not sure. Maybe he hit this PS as some kind of like device to alter reality. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I've got a little tree orchard over there. Hopefully I can get some wood. In between episodes, I'm gonna, gonna have to start working stuff. Uh, got some cobblestone walls. I'm gonna have to place that and make a little home for villagers and stuff since I obviously have tin right here. And there's not... Uh, don't really want to get into stuff that I'm not ready for quite yet, so might need it because I don't want to make the episode too horribly long. Uh, so, hmm. Well, 
This episode seems a little short. I guess I can spare a little extra time. Uh, so, slabs. Uh, saying that I need, I need those trees to grow because I don't want to venture too far away from my home. And, wow, the lag is horrible. It hasn't, I haven't seen it this bad in ordinary Minecraft in a while. Especially since this world appears to pre it be already rendered and stuff on my computer. I guess, uh, because, I guess the PS must have uh, done some, uh, must have gone on this world before. Because he had to uh, set up all that, uh, those, uh, the tests and stuff, because he knew I was going to be here. Ooh, wait. I was talking, I was really distracted. I didn't even notice I was walking on top of iron. Iron's pretty cool. But, yeah. So, I guess to get in his good favor, I'm going to tell you, leave some comments in the, uh, on this video of what PS had given me missions to do, because he did say he was going to give me uh, missions and stuff. Don't want monster spawn in this new mine of mine. A <laughs> mine of mine. Mine of mine. But, yeah, I guess, uh, I will finish up the final parts of this, of my noob house that's partially made of dirt. And then we can call an episode and wait till next time to see what happens next. And there's my house. Put up two for here, just for same, it will look the same. And... Yeah, uh, well, I think that we have started out pretty good, provided we do, I do have, uh, some stuff. It keeps finding me outside the house. Uh, I do have a pretty nubus house. Wasted all my wood. Ooh, the spruce grew. Well, what's important is that dark oak sapling, because I'm going to need a lot of those, because... I bet PS will let me go back a few updates so I can punch through the nether roof so I can make an awesome gold pigman farm. Uh, yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. I'm going to have to get in the nether soon because you never know, they might release 1.9 pretty soon. Uh, and I'll be I'll have to wait and make the nether stuff, uh, another, uh, break through the nether roof before I do that. Oh, there's an example of that. 1.8 stuff I was talking about. That's a big mountain, and you can see it kind of stops there. It's kind of sad. I, I like that mountain, but I can tell it's just going to be flat on that side because it appears to be some kind of plains over there. Well, that's a little weird, but I guess we can still make some cool stuff, and maybe if I get enough dirt, I'll completely smooth out that side of the mountain. It would take, like, a million stacks of dirt, but that would actually be pretty cool, fixing up the mountain that 1.8 destroyed. But yeah, if 1.9 comes around, I won't want to go in because if I get if there are new items and stuff in 1.9, when I go back to 1.8, they'll probably all be gone. And then I will lose those items that I'll probably work pretty hard for. And if I go to 1.9, don't come back, then I still in 1.8.1 they fix the going to the ne through the nether ceiling glitch. But it's just sad because that's a pretty oh the acacia tree grew so I have my work cut out for me anyway this has been episode one of stranded a custom minecraft survival uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and put in the description some missions for PS to give me don't don't say anything too brutal I don't want him to like kill me or something cuz that would be pretty bad so Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to join the Slimeling Rebellion. We rebel against the haters, the grievers, the spammers, and those who mess up our gaming experience. Yeah. Uh, so, until next time, I am Banana Slime. Goodbye.